Hello everyone, this is Stevio, and we are back on the multiplayer server. Back trying to make a dollar in Iowa on our new dairy farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we might have just slightly overspent. This is the first time I'm using this, so don't judge. I'm trying to fill up some feed here. Alright, I think... I got it going here. I'm hoping anyways. Yep, so early morning, we're feeding the cattle here with my new little, what is the heck is this called? A uh, WIC. So today we got a sighting day. We got a lot of stuff going on. The most exciting part is I think we might go be able to go take the Mustang to the track. I've just been itching ever since I got the official purchase of this house just to see what that thing runs in the quarter mile. I mean, why not? If you can't do that, what else can you do? You definitely gotta live a little when you're right here. So we're gonna load up the Mustang onto our trailer here. Let's get the ramps down here quick. All right, got everything ready. Uh, no, I'm not gonna run the F-350. I thinking I'm probably going to trade this guy in just because it's a little too flashy for my taste. A little bit. Oh yeah. You guys are probably wondering what is that little uh, notification down there? And that is from the feed wagon. It's a mod I have and apparently it gives you, so when you're filling up the feed wagon with a payloader and everything, it gives you indication. The only problem is it gets kind of annoying coming on and off. Yep, looks good as a team. We might actually look professional for once in our life. Alright, uh, I just got done grinding some corn and everything for the calves. I think we are just about done with this. Alright, oh, I... I think I'm going to take the four-wheeler back to our other house here just for uh, a little foo bar. Just for some little uh, fun, you know, messing around with the old four-wheeler. Alright, that thing is loaded. Make sure it's strapped down and make sure we shut down our new shop. I know. I know, I just love the looks of this shop. I'm gonna be uh, tearing stuff apart. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I'm weird. I get, I get my jollies off my shop. Leave me alone. I just fed you, calm down over there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I almost left with the gate open. Ooh, that would have been bad. That would have been a no-no. All right, might have had all of our cattle out and our neighbors like before. All right, let's skedaddle to the track. Makes me wonder what the old Mustang will run. Now I know that 5.0, I believe that thing has a 5.0, 5, uh, five liter engine in it. The old, you know, the, the legendary 5.0 Mustang engine. I don't know. I think it's had some modifications. I know it probably it has new heads, new bored out heads. So it has a stroker kit, it has a cam kit in it, it has a headers in it, a performance exhaust, performance intake. It has a lot of stuff. I hoping it will do. I'm guessing at least 12, maybe, maybe the 11s and a quarter mile. You never know. I'm hoping at least. Alright, can't leave Clutch out of the fun here. Give him a little fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah. Did he honk back? I don't know if he honked back or not. Thought I heard something. Whoa, 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 I'm going too fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sir, 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 sit down. Lay down, lay down. What? Uh, get me out of here. Oh, what happened? Oh. Uh, sir, sir, sir. Oh, my goodness. What? 
the heck happened? Oh no. Oh no, my beautiful GMC. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh man, I might have snapped that rear axle. Looks like I smashed up the cab. Oh my head. Oh, look how far the four wheeler was thrown. Oh my goodness, holy cow. What the heck did I wake up to? Oh, now, now I remember. This tree trimmer was like right by the bridge. I mean, what? Why would you park right there? Oh my goodness. I must have got out of control on the bridge, rolled over in the ditch here. Oh, at least the Mustang made it. Whew. Wow. At least that's good. Oh man, they must have called the tow truck already here. Oh no, my poor GMC. Whew. All right, my brain checked out good. I know you all are surprised. So am I. So am I. I have to tell you. Oh yeah, gotta give uh, Grant a little honk here. Uh, so uh, we ended up having to take the Mustang all the way back home here. Pretty sure the GMC's totaled, but uh, I've heard the local dealer here has a big sale going on. I know we have basically uh, broke the bank already uh, with our dairy farm purchase and everything and all the specialty uh, tractors like the prototype way over there the double engine the side-by-side -side prototype way you see it over there I don't know even know what to call all these that's the question like what are we gonna call all of our beautiful new tractors we purchased but uh, we do need a pretty good work truck. I don't know, that, that Mustang sounds so good. I think I'm gonna take that down to the local dealer, hopefully find a great deal. Let's see if we can buy a vehicle from the insurance payout, hoping it's big. All these big four by fours are still here. I don't even know if somebody ended up purchasing them or not because it was a silence auction, so. Uh, we didn't know who, what sold, and what didn't. Alright, look at all these beautiful trucks we got here. So, uh, we are going to get a little uh, insurance money from our wreck. I'm hoping at least. Probably not a good idea to uh, start shopping before you get paid. Not always, so... We got a weird dealership here. We got a Dodge slash Ford slash everything else dealer. Uh, a couple Fords, nothing special. What is this over here? We got a, uh, this is interesting. Comes all the way from Nebraska here. An F-450. That would definitely be big enough for us around the farm. Uh, looks clean inside. Got a CB. Whew. Clean. Uh, fold these mirrors out. Fold, roll down the window. Uh, open up the hood just so we can take a little look see here. Uh, yeah, we got a power stroke underneath there. You probably could have heard it. Very nice. Got nice tires on it. Very clean. Uh, what else? Ooh, here we go. I've always wanted a Tundra. Very nice. Very clean looking Tundra. Thinking, ooh, just love the, f the front ends of these things. It is a uh, extended uh, crew cab here. Uh, I don't know exactly what Tundra calls that. Very clean. Uh, I love the looks of these uh, lights in the front here. Aftermarket tires and rims on it. Definitely a possibility here. The F-150. It's got Wranglers on there. All the way from Nebraska. Definitely a lot of straight from Nebraska. Got a CB radio on there. Huh. I would like a little bit more options. It's got the little itty bitty screen in this one. Uh, and it's just a half ton. Uh, 
another F-150, nothing special. Ooh, we got a Ram, uh, one ton here. Let's see, starts up, listen to that Cummins purr. Definitely got the time on there and everything. Clean, clean, reminds me of uh, Jake's favorite uh, Dodge. He always drives around, or Ram, I should say. Mega Cab 2, looks like. Ooh, yeah. Very clean Cummins Mega Cab. Did uh, Austin trade in his truck here? Got a Ram here. This reminds me of his truck. Almost exactly like it. Uh, maybe he's having dash problems. That's why he traded it in. Now this is what I get excited about these service trucks right here uh, i don't know if you guys i've always liked the looks and everything and we could really use a good old service truck on the farm one bad looking cummins it's got a light bar on top onto the little rack there we've got an air compressor a uh, yep hose right there a welder torch and even a little crane very uh, guess we gotta listen to some Tim McGraw while we're driving this old thing. Look at it light up. Oh, very clean truck there. Duramax. Very clean up front. Looks like it has a dump bed all the way from New York, huh? Does the bed work? Yes, it does. Hmm, very nice truck. Definitely if you're gonna be doing some repairs. I gotta say, I think uh gms lights their heavy duty lights look amazing i would love to have them on my truck if i could find a pair now this now it's t definitely taking some abuse definitely got a lot of wear maybe beans that needs a nice paint job and everything we might get a pretty good deal about a 2010 ish gmc duramax here oh man Look at that cream interior, four door, you know, everyone can come along and play. Look at them lights and everything, uh, the dash lights up. Love how the dash lights up, I bet that looks amazing at night. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in Iowa. Let me know which vehicle do you want me to purchase. Don't forget y'all, make sure, like the video, thank y'all, I'll catch you next time.